Hey guys, I hope you're hungry for a little snack. Welcome back to the Full Instance channel. My name is Jericho, and today's snack is Bioshock. Uh, Bioshock the Collection, the HD remix of uh, Bioshock, Bioshock 2, and Bioshock Infinite just came out on PlayStation 4. So we're going to have a little nibble of Bioshock today. I'll probably do snacks of all three games, and... Um, just to be honest, Bioshock will probably be uh, Let's Play sooner rather than later. Um, I haven't yet decided what will be directly after Psychonauts. It'll either be this or something else, but either way we can have a little snack in the meantime. Um, so the intro to Bioshock is, is quite well known because um, it's so good. So I, on the one hand, I kind of wanted to play a little bit further before I did the snack, but the intro is so amazing, like it would be a disservice to not have it be um, what we snack up on today. Although I will say it's compared, well, I was gonna say comparatively a little gameplay, and that's not really true though, cause you're, you're pretty active throughout. It's always jarring to me when I play Remix and there's a different um, like splash logo, like that blind squirrel I'd never seen before. So it's, what, what does it mean? Um, but anyway, just speaking of Bioshock, um, one of my very favorite games, I like all three in this series. I think Bioshock 2 is really underrated. Um, and Infinite, it, it just became so, so popular um, to hate on it. But I still think it was incredible. One of the best games of last generation. So, I'm going to start brand new. I like to have it a little bit brighter than it says so that I can see everything. Because so it does, isn't too spooky. Okay, let's do... The last time I played this, um, when I still had my PS3, I was doing the Survivor one for the trophies, but I think this time around... Uh, let's just do easy, because this is just going to be the snack anyway. I don't want to, um... I don't want to die. Okay, I'm going to probably not talk too much, um during this cutscene because it's all really important information for later. They told me, son, you're special. You were born to do great things. You know what? I don't know, maybe it's because I'm looking for it, but but, but for me, right. um, I, don't, I already feel like the the graphical, I can see the um, graphical improvements like on the effects from the smoke from the cigarette and just the, the bright color of the present. Ah, I'm so excited. I love this game so much. <clears throat> um, my brother-in-law, Ilad, um, just played through this for the first time a few weeks ago. We were talking about it and it got me just so excited to play it again. Um, I know a lot of people like frown on the number of remasters and remakes um, that, that have been on uh, the current uh, generation of consoles so far, but when there are amazing games like this, like now I don't miss my PS3 because Arkham Collection is coming out in a month, I have Bioshock Collection, I have Uncharted Collection. I, I, don't, I don't really, I'm not missing a whole lot, um, and there have been amazing new IP2, or new games at least, you know, Arkham Knight, Bloodborne, um, you know, I, I, a ton of them. So one thing that's really cool, um, the first time you ever, I've ever played this game, uh, I noticed like, you're just in it. Like all of a sudden there's fire on the water and you're swimming and you have control. And I, I liked how there's no UI, there's nothing to, to let you know that like, holy crap, this is happening to you right now. Um, this game does atmosphere better than many others. And of course it always starts with a lighthouse. <clears throat> so just in the interest of transparency um arkham asylum and the arkham collection i just mentioned coming out in october is the other possibility for my next game after psychonauts so i guess um you know if, if you feel like it uh, comment below on which you know you'd prefer to see next I'll, I'll be talking about it as psychonauts um kind of comes to a close as well you know, about you know which one um you know, people would be more interested in, in seeing next. I haven't really made up my mind yet. So many moments of this game are so iconic. This was so, I don't know, ahead of its time and revolutionary and I really can't get enough of it. And what country is there a place for people like me? Uh, 
this is another area where I, I feel like I'm really noticing the graphical improvements. Like um, the lighting engine seems to be better. And just some of the detail. Like I remember last time I played, like some of these textures were really muddy, but now it looks like it's been quite cleaned up. And again, it, it could just be because I'm looking for it. And it was always a, a pretty stunning game, but um, I don't know. So yeah, this is why I had to have this part be the snack because this first view of um, the City of Rapture is just one of my, I don't know, one of my very favorite moments in gaming. The Bioshock series, I would say to me, is probably it's in my top five of any gaming series. I don't want to talk over this. We'll get back to what I was saying. Probably could have talked over the commercial. I am Andrew Ryan, and I'm here to ask you a question. Is a man not entitled to the sweat of his brow? No, says the man in Washington. It belongs to the poor. No, no says, says the man, man in the Vatican. 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 It, belongs it belongs to God. God. No, says the man in Moscow. It belongs to everyone. I reject My music starts to hit. Answers. And I love how even though this is basically a cutscene, we can still... I chose something different. I chose the impossible. I chose... Rapture. Sure. Ah. A city where the artist would not fear the censor, where the scientist would not be bound by petty morality, where the great would not be constrained by the small. And with the sweat of your brow, rapture can become your city as well. So this is our first tiny glimpse of a Big Daddy, or at least um, a prototype, uh, a sort of Big Daddy. Um, my very favorite video game enemy of all time. But what I was mentioning before, uh, we saw Andrew Ryan's uh, short little conversation there. Pokemon is first, Smash Brothers is second, and I think the Arkham games have to be third. But Bioshock, probably fourth. Uh, my very just very favorite video game series i think every every game in it is really strong and i'm excited about the future even though um i think um you know with the closure of irrational um you know it's hard to say if it'll you know continue to be the same quality or just cashing in on the recognizable name to be honest but um i don't know i, I want to keep an open mind because i think they know that it's a very well-loved series and they're not you know they don't want to blow the fans goodwill okay Okay, I think that's more or less how I remember it. Except for, of course, the map and stuff being on the um, the touchpad button. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> this is not uh, as, as playful and fun as most snack games. He ain't got no tummy anymore. It's so cool, like, you feel so helpless, like, even though you're in this giant metal sphere, you know, all you know is you just, like, try to break in, there's nothing you can do about it. Well, yes, I would kindly pick up that shortwave radio. Okay, so now we're in uh, the game proper. I won't leave you twisting in the wind. We can freely move about um, we're gonna need to draw Rapture now. But you're gonna have to trust me. I 
Like, I already talked about the atmosphere of the game. Just, like, like already you feel so vulnerable. You hear the voices and just, like, the, the way... The things they do with the lighting and... You just, it just feel uncomfortable. Just a bit bored. So we got a good old wrench. It's weird having a uh, jump on triangle. Oh, oh, it's on easy. I was only like, like, what the heck? That guy went down like it was nothing. Okay, so the classic bash like standby, grab some cakes out of the trash and gobble them straight up on the spot. That's just how you do things. Uh. So this is where we get our first uh, plasmid, which are the, uh, the kind of powers of the game um but i think we're gonna go ahead and wrap up today's snack right here um hopefully if you've never played a bioshock game this is enough to entice you to pick it up i think it's a really really strong opening as i already said so um definitely check the game out um that comes with my highest recommendation uh, thank you guys so much for watching um stay tuned for snacks of bioshock 2 and bioshock infinite and like i said a full playthrough of bioshock should be coming um if not as soon as i know with psychonauts then I don't know, maybe it might be the first one of 2017 or we'll, we'll just see how all that works out. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything over the next coming days and weeks because we have something new every day on the Flintstones channel. I'll see you guys next time. I don't know about you, but I'm full.